Hi all, I'm Abhijit. Uh, in today's session, uh, we'll be uh, talking about WebSockets and how WebSocket implementation can be done in uh, web methods. So WebSockets are a protocol generally for the full duplex communications or a single uh, HTTP, sorry, single TCP connection generally. So uh, WebSockets, like say, generally used for uh, real-time sending, real-time updates. Uh, and the use cases we can take is uh, uh, sending score updates regularly or and the stock updates are communicating. This can be used for uh, developing the chatbot applications. The communication mechanism between them can be very instant. And when I say, when I say this implementation in web methods, so WebSockets generally uh, use sessions so web methods uh, provides you with uh, uh, something called web socket uh, connections here so where you can create either the server connections or the client connections so when i say server connections it's like web methods acting as a web socket server and client connection is when you have an external server and you are creating a connection with the external use case. So in this example, I wanted to talk about how we can establish a connection between third party uh, web server. So for this use case, I've chosen SignalR as a server and SignalR is the server which is going to establish connection with web methods and we create a connection between uh, web methods and uh, the SignalR and then when we send the messages from SignalR, we constantly receive the same in our uh, integration server to do whatever uh, we want to do in the received messages. So without any further ado, let's jump into the demo here. So here, so what I did is I created a package called WebSockets. And in WebSockets, I've created a folder called WS. And in order to create a WebSocket client connection, so you just right click on the folder, click on new, and click on WebSocket endpoints and give it a name WebSocket demo. Right? And you have an option to create a WebSocket endpoint as a server or as a client. So see here, it says that it should start with WS. WS stands for WebSocket server port and the endpoint which we are saying. So initially I said that I will be using a third party uh, WebSocket server. So for that purpose, what I did is I've uh, used the uh, Docker image of uh, SignalR server, which is present in the GitHub. And I pulled the image from the Docker and I've uh, run, it, I've run that on uh, on the container and it is running on the port uh, 5555 now. So here if you see, see the port is running on 5555 and this is how a web method, sorry, the signaler server is like. And when I send the messages from uh, the signaler and uh, since I'll, I'm going to create a connection on the integration server, so whatever message I send from Signal, it will be received on this. And in the and the difference between PubSub and WebSocket is in PubSub, we create uh, topics, queues, and triggers, and all those things. Whereas in uh, uh, WebSockets, you just create a connection where it creates a session ID, and the client and server makes communications over that. Uh, session ID and this session remains active until one of the client or server explicitly specifies it to disconnect. So let's go back again to our designer. So here, I've, uh, since I'm running it on uh, double five double five, I'll just give it a yes, call a bubble slash local host call 5000 slash eco. And yes, once you clean it, click on finish. It creates you the web service, uh, web socket connection, as well as the predefined services here. So, which is like on text, on error, on connect, on close, and on binary. On text stands for whenever you receive the messages from Signal, what it needs to be done. 
on error stands for what if, if there is an error occurring on uh, receiving the request what we should do on connect is once a connection is established what you wanted to do after that so on close is like once connection is closed is we are saying the bye to that connection so that's how we close it on binary is when you send the binary objects over the tcp connection so here in this i'll just send it i'm going to use the text messages and signaler in that in this demo is going to use the JSON formats. Like say whatever you send it from signaler, it uh, comes as a JSON message to the integration server. So as I initially said, we need to establish a connection between web methods integration server and signaler. And for that purpose, I created a service. And in this service, I wanted to create a connection here. So how do we create it? We utilize the pre-built services, which is pub client websocket. And it has the parameters ns name, and this ns name is nothing but the client connection which we just created, which is signal client. And initially, we need to send the message here. So, once you create a WebSocket connection, you get a session ID, and using the session ID, we just send a message to the signal client, and with a message protocol JSON and version one. But how did I end up? with this protocol JSON message. Let's go back. And if I go to developer tools here. And let me reload the page. Now if you see here, on the messages tab, it gives me this. So I just need to copy the whole uh, string along with the control character rs is the control character here so here it shows you the control character just copy that whole and send it here so once you establish a connection just run it so it gives you the session id so this means that now this is a connection is established between you and the, the signal arm. so once i send the message so what i did is once I receive the text message, I'm instructing my service that, okay, once you receive it, just print that message on the uh, integration server debug log. If you see here, I didn't create any queues or any topics or any triggers in this case. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's see this. And just so now the message is sent to the integration server in an instant. And if I go to my logs now, I should already see the message here. See here. See, you receive the message saying that, okay, target one, this demo is for uh, web sockets using the web methods. You can see here, it, when you receive the message, it uh, comes with the type one and uh, the target message. And later on, you all get the type six messages. Type six is like, it's constantly pinging you that, okay, you are, the connection is still alive, right? So I'm still able to receive the messages. If you just see here, so you receive the message is 2205 and if you wait for some time you still get another message so this is how you constantly get the messages see it continuously pings your server that okay you're still alive and all that. so you can just go here and just send whatever messages you want to get so it will even say the json message Sir, you already received one message. You are receiving it twice because I created two clients in this. So that's how it uh, we are uh, receiving that message. Here. And if I wanted to, like, say, exclude the connection, let's 
session ID. The connection is closed now. If there are previous sessions already existing, you still get messages. If not, then you don't get the messages. So some of the sessions are already active. That's why you are uh, uh, getting that uh, messages. So close. So yeah, if you observe here, you are going to receive only one message. But previously, we used to receive two, if you observe, like we are used to get two. Since there is only one session active, you get one message here. Now I'm trying to close the other session also. And the session, other session is also closed. There is no other message. Ignore the error messages, but we didn't get the message which says uh, one, two, three, four. Here we only got the yes, uh, see, there is uh, no other messages other than these exceptions. You can ignore that error messages, but this is how you close the connections, and once you are closed. You need to again establish a new connection by going back. If you want to automate it, you can easily automate this thing. Now, if I go and send the message again, I should get the message. 